show you guys how to play the intro to Cliffs of Dover by Eric Johnson. First things first, it's going to be very helpful if you know all the E minor pentatonic positions up the neck. So I'm just talking about the ones that are two notes per string. Eric Johnson loves to cycle through those positions in different spots. It's not necessary, but it's good to know. So to get the tone, I'm using these two pickups. So the second pickup position right here, I have my treble tone knob rolled almost all the way down. I have it down to like two or three. And then I'm using the Neural DSP Tone King plugin with some EQ and compression, obviously a lot of reverb and delay. And I'm just getting kind of like a fuzzy overdriven sound. So this first part, we're just gonna hit an open E. That's the hardest part of the whole song. So if you can get that, you're pretty much there. So open E, then we're gonna bend 15th fret on the high E string and kind of over bend it a little bit. So instead of just bending to this A here, we're gonna kind of, then we're gonna go. So we're gonna pick all those notes, alternate picking. So that's just E minor, right? So the only note that's not from the minor pentatonic scale here is this note here. That's the two or the nine. So that's from the minor scale. Okay, so then we're gonna come down from E here and I'm gonna do an upstroke there and I'm just gonna come down the pentatonic scale that way. Alternate picking again, so. When I get to the A here, I'm gonna bend it up to a B. So 14th fret on the G string. Then we're gonna come back up. So you should be back on this note on another upstroke. So it goes. Then after you hit this E here, you're gonna go. Down, up, pull off, down. Then after the downstroke here, I'm gonna hit another downstroke on that 14th fret there, so. That's what that's gonna look like. And then alternate pick down to here. And then we're gonna continue with alternate picking and go. So that's 15th, 17th, 15th, 12th, 14th. And after this 14th fret, another down stroke on the 15th fret on the B string. Then we're gonna pull off to the 12th fret. Then we're gonna bend 14th fret. Do another pull off 15th to 12th. And on the 14th fret on the G string, bend, release, and pull off to the 12th fret. And then land on the 14th fret on the D string. So let's do that whole thing. So you'll notice that when he's ending on a downstroke on one string and he's gotta go to the next string over, he's gonna do two downstrokes. That's called economy picking. So it's kinda like a mini like sweep picking, you know? There and there. So instead of going down, up, Typically he likes to switch strings after an upstroke. And so whenever that doesn't happen, he typically does two downs. Okay, after we hit this E here, we're gonna shift down to this minor pentatonic position here. This area. And here's where he's gonna cycle through more of the positions. So here I think there are a couple ways to pick this. I like to go down, down, up, down, up. So that's just going up the pentatonic scale starting from the seventh fret on the G string. Down, down, up, down, up. Then I'm gonna go down and pull off. So that's adding that little blues note there. Then I have time to do another downstroke here. Down, up, down. So. Then here is another economy picking situation. I'm gonna go down, up, down, 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 down. He likes that F sharp, that nine. Come down to fourth fret on the G string and notice how I'm kind of shifting down. I want to end up with ring finger here. Because now I'm in this position here, this minor pentatonic. So we're gonna come down. So this was a downstroke, I'm gonna go up, down, up, down. And then another downstroke. Down, up, down, up, down. Another downstroke. Down, up, down, up. So, so once we get here, we're doing a five note pattern in this position. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go four notes. And then after this, we're gonna kind of think about just like open E minor pentatonic here.
Then we're gonna hit this bend here. Eighth fret on the B string, bending to the 10th fret and back down. And that's the first section. This next part, he's focusing on these open triads. So this is kind of like a spread A minor triad. We got your string hopping here. And the way I would pick this, I'd go down, down, up. That way you set yourself up for the next one. So that's gonna be down, down, up, down, down, up. Hammer on from seven to eighth. Then I'm gonna go 10, seven, 10. Then slide on the high E string. Now I'm up here. I'm gonna go eighth fret and 12th fret. Those are just notes from the E natural minor scale or G major scale, however you wanna think of it. And we got this triad here, which is like an E minor. Same shape as these other ones. Then we're gonna go to A minor triad. Then this is like going G to C. So I'm here on the 14th fret. That's the C. There's D, that's the same shape as C. And then ending on that 15th fret on the high E string, which is G. So obviously we're in the key of G or E minor, same thing. The beginning was focused around E minor ideas, right? Now we're kind of more focused on G, okay? <laughs> Next part's a little tricky. So after we land here, we're gonna hit this note one more time and kind of set ourselves up for this hybrid picking thing. So I'm really just gonna keep my index finger there and use my ring finger and middle finger around here. So the ring finger is gonna go kind of highlighting that D triad all on the same fret there. And then when I get to the D string, switch to middle and come up a C triad. But in between every one of those notes, I'm gonna hit that G on top. So if you were to pick it, it would be like, but you can only get so fast doing that. So what he does is he uses his middle finger to hit that G up there. So it looks like this. And after those two times, so two D triads and two C triads, then you're just gonna do the B and G string of the D triad and the G and B string of the C triad. So like this. twice again. Then the next part, you're starting on this note again, the 19th fret on the B string. So this is just from the G major scale. We got 19th fret, 17th, 15th, 19th, 15th, 17th. I'm starting it with down, down, and then the rest is alternate. After you end on this down here on the 17th fret on the G string, you're gonna do another downstroke in this five note pattern here. So that's like 17, 15, 17, 14, and then the G here on the 17th fret on the D string. And then here, you're gonna do another five note thing. This one is gonna repeat, so we're gonna go. So these five notes are just going down the pentatonic starting on this B right here. And you're gonna start each one of those with a downstroke. This low G here, and then you're gonna bend up from the 18th fret here on the B string, whole step to this G. And you wanna try to pinch that so it gives you a harmonic. It can be hard to do because we have the tone knob rolled down, but that's pretty much it. So that last part is like this. So that's it. Hope you guys learned something. If you liked the video, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.